What's up, good ones? Frank from the Go to Guild here, checking out Buy With. Bring shopping back to live. Don't know what that means. One to one live stream shopping. Bring human interaction back to online shopping. Okay, so you could shop with like a expert shopper. You can shop with someone who is an influencer. You can shop with. I guess who's this other person that you're live shopping with? Um, interesting concept. Uh, buy with one-to-one -one live shopping assistance solution empowers brands and retailers to provide their customers a real-time personalized assistance through video calls, enabling a real-time personalization assistance on a variety of topics, replicating the in-store experience online. That needs to be half as long. <laughs> In essence, to, to actually communicate what I'm saying without having to use three sentences, one-to-one -one live shopping is bringing back human interaction in the online shopping space. Okay, so I'm gonna treat that as the hero. Uh, I'm intrigued, and I guess the brand chooses somebody on their side to be the interactor. Um, and I do think a lot of a lot of things are lost in online shopping, online communication. I think there's a lot of humanity that's lost, a lot of in our inability to like understand each other and a lot of judgment that happens because you're basing it off of information that is not fully communicated. So I do like the concept of doing this. Um, I can't really see it being that profitable for companies with products that are under like 50 bucks um or at least the average order value that's under like 50 bucks um but i don't know maybe this is just like uh maybe people are shopping quick it's like a quick like hey give me a couple suggestions type thing um but i'm intrigued i think i kind of get it um so i give it above a seven probably give it what are we giving by with guys seven three uh, let me see what the rest of this page says co-browsing host and customer can co-navigate seamlessly through the website yep so there's been other co-browsing things but have been mostly used for support it's interesting to see this is just like marketed as um you know helping more of a sales thing what sorry guys dropping all my things smart scheduler widget in session checkout expert marketplace find the right experts and take the house out of host searching and vetting ah so interesting that's interesting so the hosts aren't even necessarily your people i kind of assumed it would be your people so all these places are using it those are pretty big retailers a win-win dynamic and interactive one-on-one -on -one shopping experience for retails and customers increase aov yep foster engagement personalized live shopping assistant i mean i guess you need to have enough products that people are having trouble with it or they need some guidance um like yeah, your product catalog needs to be bigger. If you have like three SKUs, probably it's probably not worth it, especially if the person is not knowledgeable about your SKUs. How do you train the person? How do you get them to understand what a good what good products are for you? Which ones are the most profitable? Which ones you want to push people towards? Which ones have low inventory or new inventory? Stuff like that. Click on the personal assistant widget. Check for availability of a personal shopper. So it just goes out and grabs a random person. Yeah, how does that work? I got a lot of questions. This is a very short page. I don't know if this is like the full, this seems like not the full website, right? What is I dot buy with? Are they trying to not give me the whole thing? They're trying not to give me the whole thing. Why is this? Is that? 
why why would you do that why 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 guys I want to actually see the normal website Yeah, this site is so much better. I don't understand why. Why would you want to? This is such a better page. I don't. I don't understand when people launch on Product Hunt and put like their sales page on there, as if people already know what their company does. Nobody's. Nobody's looking at this. We're clicking this and we're going to the site. <sighs> Should I just redo this review? All right. Um, transforming boring e-commerce into a dynamic video shopping experience. For 24-7 shoppable videos. I don't know what that means, 24-7 shoppable videos. I literally don't know what that means. Live shopping I get. Social media, multi-streaming. So I guess they're trying to just push the one-on-one -on -one thing, but I'm not gonna review a whole page when there's like more stuff. Um, this page is short. It needs to have more information. I'm very confused on the fact that it seems like it's not your people on the page. Um, which I guess makes it easier to get onboarded, but makes you wonder how that person is going to get information about your product. How, how do they know anything about what you're doing? Um, if I'm on Steve Madden, I guess somebody outside of Steve Madden could have ideas on which ones are popular, which ones are culturally interesting to give people some guidance, but do they know Steve Madden really wants to push this type of shoe. I don't know. So this page, I'm still left with a lot of questions. Because um, this is for the brand, right? Like the brand is supposed to be convinced. Um, and I'm aware that this is not really supposed to be a full product page, but this is the one they're linking to. So I don't know. Um, damn. I'll probably give the rest of the page just like a 6.5. Um, I think the concept is really interesting. Um, when I look at the full page, I totally believe that this can increase order values, engagement. I experienced this with a customer support tool that was a video chat. Because um, there's some questions that you might not really ask on text, or you might not think about until you get into a conversation. And somebody who's a good a uh, conversationalist might draw out some information that might be useful. Um, as I do a lot of customer feedback stuff and do customer interviews, um, sometimes it's better to tease out some of those things. And there's probably content in that conversation that can be used by the company as well. Um, preferences, what people are thinking about that might not be captured in a user session or in anything they've actually typed to you. Um, so that's another piece. It could be a customer feedback tool also, kind of subtly. Um, what is this? I could shop with Mama, Mama Moda. That's actually a good name. Um, this seems like a good product. Um, I just don't really understand why they sent me to this page. <laughs> um, but definitely check this out if you're in e-commerce and you're trying to increase your order values and you want to have people, you have enough, it's, this is just my opinion, if you have enough SKUs that people need some direction. Um, 7.3 on the Hero 6.5 on the page as always check this out buywith.com is a website brush your teeth walk in the corner check out go to guild.com for some customer feedback denbo is tired and out <laughs>
Thank you.